That is a big wasp. Alrighty, here we are out in Central Australia. Check out this little beastie. That is a big wasp. So there's dozens of different species of wasps in Australia. Some are potter wasps which fly around solo and they build little mud nests. Some other species like our paper wasps will build communal nests and they will use saliva and bits of vegetation which they'll stick together in little hexagonal cells and they'll lay an egg in each one. Paper wasps are generally hanging from something. This guy here, I would say, is one of the tarantula hawks. And what they will do is they will fly around and look for tarantulas. So judging by the size of those chompers, definitely hunts large prey. So they will clasp onto it with their chompers and they'll inject that stinger. Now the stinger's barbless and they can sting repetitively. Their venom is designed to paralyze their prey. So. Uh, some of the larger wasps, particularly the tarantula hawk, oh, there he goes, will actually sting their prey, paralyze it, then they'll drag it back. Some of them stuff them down a hole and lay an egg on it and cover it up. Some other species will construct a nest made out of mud and saliva and then they'll make little tombs inside each one and they'll place their uh, eggs and their victims in each one and they actually just paralyze them. We'll have a look at those shortly. Awesome, check out this little beastie. This is a orange banded potter wasp. And he's from Australia and Southeast Asia, this guy. And what they do, obviously their name is the potter wasp, so they use their pottery skills to make these little tombs. And they fly out and they get water. They go to muddy areas and they'll pick up little mud balls and they'll fly in and they'll construct this nest piece by piece by piece by piece over days if not weeks and the females just came back with a green grub and she will take that grub inside in the tomb they use their venom to paralyze the grub they don't actually kill it they'll also get spiders as well tarantula hawks will do the same they'll stick them up inside that little tomb there lay an egg on it and then that egg will hatch out into a little grub and it will eat its host. It's kind of a creepy sci-fi thing. It will eat its host and then it will pupate and metamorphosize into a wasp over a couple of months and then it will chew its way out as a full-grown, almost full-grown wasp and fly out and do the same thing. They're kind of amazing, the little constructions that they can do it's got the little funnel there and there will probably be about eight tombs in there and each one of those little tombs she'll stick a grub with an egg on top and then seal it in. So they seal it up as well so the ants can't get in there and eat the larvae. They've got pretty amazing eyesight. They fly around and they know where, exactly where and when to come back to their nests. So over days if not weeks flying out and they might fly 50 meters or more to pick up those little tiny bits of mud from any puddles um, and then they'll fly all the way back so they're really busy 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 but they're kind of cool because they eat some species of spiders that we <laughs> necessarily don't like to have in our houses so there you go the potter wasp also just to let you know the, the wasps that are generally solitary they can actually sting. Wasps can sting multiple times. Bees can only sting once and then the stinger comes out and they die. The wasps can sting multiple times. But this particular species, mainly the potter wasps or the solitary wasps, that are just flying around doing their thing, they're not out to get us. They're not going to sting you. Um, I've even rescued them out of swimming pools. They fly down to get a bit of water, a bit of moisture, and they get stuck in the pool. I've actually just picked them up with my hands out of the pool. 
not interested in stinging you and just fly away. Um, but it's the communal wasps are the ones that you've got to watch out for and the bees. So anything with a nest with more than four or five wasps in it, like maybe a hole in the ground, might be one of the hanging nests, might be in a hollow log. They're the ones you got to watch out for, the, the communal wasps, because they'll come out and they'll sting you and they'll mark you with a pheromone, and attack pheromone, and then all their buddies will come out. And it's not much fun. You may have seen in some of my previous videos. So there you go, that's the potter wasp. If you've got them around your house and you see the mud thing on the wall, just remember it, it's got larvae inside it and it is hatching. So if you smash it, you're going to kill all of that stuff. Just let it, leave it there for a few months, let them hatch out and let them come out and then you can knock it off the wall later. And then of course all those little wasps will fly around and they will, hopefully if it's a spider eating species, get rid of all the spiders around your gardens for you. You have to be careful because some people have anaphylactic shock reaction and our paper wasps and some of our European wasps as well in Australia, people have had anaphylaxis and people in Australia have died from wasps. Also some of our um, bulldog ants or bull ants, our jumping jack ants as well and of course the bees. But we're quite lucky in Australia that we don't have the Africanized bees. But still, either way, watch out. The first aid for the stings basically is an anti-inflammatory, like a Nurofen. Uh, if it's a little bit more extreme than that, if you get stung on the arm and your face starts to swell up, you're going to need some antihistamines. And then some people have severe shock, uh, anaphylaxis. They need an EpiPen pretty much straight away, a shot right in the thigh. Uh, and that will basically neutralize the anaphylaxis. So just be careful, particularly if you're mowing lawns, going through palm fronded areas or particularly places in North Queensland as well where they have a lot of paper wasps, just watch out for those types of things. And use, um, use the clear safety glasses as well because bees and wasps actually do go for your eyes as well. So pretty nasty. You're probably wondering why the wasp didn't sting me. Basically I whispered sweet nothings in its ear and said, come on mate, don't sting me, I'm not going to hurt you and you can fly away mid-shoot, which is exactly what happened. You gotta watch where you're walking in this jungle, I tell you. Not good, not good. There's a uh, nest up here. You might see him flying in and out in the background. Underground jungle hornets. Not very friendly at all. Not my favourite either. Oh, hardcore. What they do is they sting you, mark you with a pheromone, and then all their mates come out and attack you. And if you're anywhere near the nest, they'll keep attacking you. And they're hardcore. They're like 20 times worse than a bee. Species of wasp. Maybe we should see if we can get a bit closer and have a look, eh? As you can see, I've had a run in with these guys before. That's about seven days old. I took about three or four hits. They're hardcore. My whole wrist and my hand were swollen for about three days. Um, if you had an anaphylactic allergic reaction, you'd be dead pretty quick. Pretty dangerous stuff. I might um, take my sunglasses today. A bit extra safety. And uh, you guys stay here because it could get wild. I think I'll take the camera. And if I start getting stung and I'm running towards you, run. I turned the camera off. There was one next to me and I was like, it's gonna nail me. So I come running through here, flat out. Ah! I had to put the camera down, come to here. I'm running through here. He's, I'm like, where is it, where is it? Where is it? 
and I looked at my shorts and it was on my shorts going ee, and I, whoosh, I had to slap it off and then it came straight back at me and it was it was angry <laughs> and it just came straight at me and I just slapped it onto the ground gave him a stomp and unfortunately it was him or me have a look at the size of that sucker Scary, scary big hornet. Anyway, I was lucky not to get stung by that at all, but I'm a marked man now. Where the hornet was here, it would have been stinging my pants, releasing a pheromone on my pants. So I'll grab some dirt and I'll just rub that on there. Hopefully to disguise the smell, because I'm marked. Now I gotta go back to get my backpack. Not playing the hornets anymore. That's it. Hey guys, just really wanted to say thanks a lot for tuning into my channel and staying with us on these wildlife adventures. If you like what you see, share it with your mates. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And don't forget, keep it wild, and I'll catch you next time.